All right, hi, I'm Miss Cobelli. For those of you that do not have me and don't know, so I'm gonna talk to you about synthetic materials and the impact that they have on us and society. Okay, so think about this. Think about your cell phones. What kind of impact does your cell phone have on you? And what kind of impact do cell phones have on our society? Okay, a lot of synthetic materials were made because there was a need in society or an individual need for these things. So think about like glass. Okay, we use glass for a lot of things. There was a bunch of needs for glass. So eventually the technology that helps us make glass was made so we can use it. We use them for glasses. We use it for windows. We use it for doors. We use it for like eyeglasses, not just like cups. We use it for jars to hold things like in the fridge. Like this is a pickle jar. If we didn't have glass, we wouldn't have pickles. Or we wouldn't have anything to hold our pickles in at least. Okay, um, if we didn't have synthetic materials, we had a need for like cans, for canned food, to keep cans, our food preserved. So eventually we came up and made cans, which is made out of metal, which is a synthetic material. Okay, our cell phones are made from synthetic materials. Our computers are made from synthetic materials. And all these materials that were made were created because there was a need for that technology or that thing or that object. And there was a need that either an individual had or society as a whole had. So think about how some of these little things that we don't really think much of that we just have and we're used to having, what kind of impact those technologies actually have on us as a society itself. But they can have huge impacts when you start to think about it. Like think about how we communicated before we had cell phones. You couldn't just call up someone and talk to them or you couldn't just text them real fast and ask them a question. You had to wait until you saw them in person or you had to send them a letter or you had to even before like texting was a big thing or we had like all this social media stuff. You had to IM them, you had to email them, okay? The stages of all this technology has grown from like sending letters to like text messages now. You can instantly talk to someone and before you either had to see them or you had to call them on a home line or you had to send them a letter, which now, instant because of these technologies. And there was a need for that technology for humans to communicate with each other. Same with our computers. We had a need for that technology to be able to connect people, to be able to look things up, to be able to store things, to be able to make documents. So we don't have to handwrite stuff anymore to be able to type things on. So all these little things that we don't think much of play a big impact in our individual lives and society. Okay. Think about like cars. We didn't have cars before. We had to ride horses or have horse-drawn carriage or use oxen. Okay. We had this need in society for transportation. So we eventually had trains and then we eventually had cars. All these things kind of helped build in transportation. Okay, all these things have impacted us as individuals and society, and all these things that we have around us were made because there was a need for it. So think about that. Think about, honestly, right now, just sit and think about how much your phone impacts your life and the society around you. Think about how much it has impacted our society in the last just even like 10 years. It's insane. All right, so keep that in mind.